may be the end of the road for red light cameras. There's a new report out tonight that says they make intersections even more dangerous, and that is not at all what we were promised years ago when cities raced to install them. Fox 13's Kelly Cowens here says they're not the money makers they once were either, right, Kelly? That's right. The company that runs most of the red light cameras in Florida says the number of tickets it's handed out has dropped 43% statewide since 2010. But a state report released last month finds crashes in intersections with red light cameras are actually increasing. And that has the Tampa City Council rethinking the future of the cameras. Since 2011, red light cameras have been the law of the land in more than 20 of Tampa's busiest intersections. The cameras are meant to help police crack down on dangerous drivers. Run a red light in one of these intersections, and you're looking at a steep $160 ticket. But newly released data by the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles says the number of crashes statewide in intersections with red light cameras has actually increased by 15% since they were put in. And the number of crashes with serious injury has gone up by 30%. It's even worse in Tampa, where the report found a 50% increase in crashes in the intersections monitored in the city of Tampa. The crash data, the safety issues, the, uh, the dollars, it's not a good return on investment for our citizens. Since their installation in 2011, the city of Tampa has collected $11.7 million in citations. 7.2 million of that has been paid out to American Traffic Solutions, which operates the cameras. But each year, the city has seen a decrease in citation revenues, dropping from nearly $2 million in the first year to just under a half million dollars in the last full year of data. The cost, coupled with its questionable impact on safety, has some council members confident the contract with ATS will not be renewed. As it stands, that contract, I am almost positive, will not pass. It's more than the $160 ticket. If it were to, if it stopped the crashes, if it, if it, if we saw the safety value, uh, the amount of investment for what it, the return again is is not there. And the contract for the city's red light camera program is set to expire in April. Until then, council members will be meeting individually with the city's attorney to discuss the future of the cameras.